Hello, hello. How are we doing? Welcome to another live stream where we're going to be showcasing a few of our products that we've got available. We've got a number of Fine Fine microphones. We've literally just had a new product from Fine Fine turn up, which I've not even took out of the box yet. So I've not had a chance to test it out, but we'll we'll get in the box. We'll show you how it looks. I don't think I'll be able to connect it up this stream, but hopefully next stream I'll be able to show you it in action. But we'll have a look at the dimensions and kind of how much it weighs. Also got a brand new webcam as well, which does something which I've not seen on any other webcam. So we'll show you that one as well. Do feel free to come and get involved in the chat as well. I'm saying that as I've not loaded up my Amazon page. Hello, Caroline. Let's just check. We'll put the heating on then. There we are. That's working. Caroline, I'm very cold. We're in. We're rocking and rolling. Right, now, when I began this stream, there was nothing that was on offer. Something has come on offer, though, which I will show you in a moment. Just having a quick look through what we've got listed to see if anything else is on a limited time deal. Hello, Saucy. You okay, buddy? No, just, well, two at the moment. And I will definitely show you the one because I've got it, like, right here. Okay, as always, we will begin with our first microphone. Little ticker. Bottom of the screen so you know which microphone we are talking about. And this is the Fine Fine K688. Saucy is chilling. That's what I like to hear, buddy. Microphone is USB or XLR. What you're listening to now is the XLR connection, which is running to my Go XLR Mini, which it might not be for too much longer when I get to test this other product, which I will show you in a moment. Really nice foam filter on the front. Mine has been chewed by my cat, so yours would be in better condition than this one. But it feels very nice and soft. Very weird thing to say, but you'd have to trust me. If you got one of these, drop me a message and just tell me how nice that foam filter feels. Really weird, I know. Now, as this is running through XLR, we do get a mute button. Can we see it here? This green button here. And if I mute that, you will notice that I can still chat and you can still hear me. That's because it's running through my GoXLR Mini. So that mute button will only work through the USB connection. So do bear that in mind. Hello, HT. Welcome, buddy. How is your week? My week's not been too bad, mate. Not too bad. How is yours been? Yeah, so XLR is what you're listening to now. It does come in its own shock mount. Now, you don't need to install that. It's already installed when you take it out of the box. You will need either a boom arm or a stand, like that one, because it doesn't come in its own stand. So if you've already got one, absolute bonus. If not, you will need to mount it onto something. You do get a converter in the box, which is the 5 8 of an inch to a 3 8 of an inch thread, which means you can just mount it onto pretty much any boom arm which is how we've got it mounted right now. Build quality, it's all made of metal. Obviously the foam filter is foam, but everything else is made of metal and well constructed. Now I think it sounds great. But I will let you have a quick listen to the USB connection, providing I've still got it set up. I should have. I'm just, oh, here we are. Now, we might be a little bit quiet because I don't think I've put any gain or anything on the microphone. And this is what it sounds like using USB. As you can see, I've got a little bit closer to the mic. It is a dynamic microphone, which means your main audio is going to come directly through the front here. It will reject quite a lot of background noise as well. Where's my phone? Let me put on the, the white noise test. So it probably works out better if I show you rather than tell you. So let's put a little bit of white noise on. Let's turn it up. And you'll notice that you'll hear the white noise on the front. As we come around the mic towards the back, it should drown quite a lot of it out. And 
and try not to hit the microphone like I did. So I looked at my LBS there. It did look as though there was quite a significant drop on my audio levels there as I went around the back of the mic. So if you're typing on a keyboard, then it should drown out quite a lot of that background noise. Let's go back to XLR. So this is back to XLR now. The USB you've just heard, literally no filters whatsoever have been installed on the mic. That is the audio you will get straight out of the box without installing anything additional on there. All these microphones will show you are plug and play, which means that when you plug them in, they will just work. You don't need to install any drivers, any additional software, but obviously if you use stuff like OBS, you can start putting filters in there and change the way that it sounds. So yes, this is the mic I'm using all the time. I record pretty much all my stuff with this little bad boy. But if I'm out and about, then I do use a different microphone. And I use this for my mobile phone. I'm just looking for my little video. I've got it somewhere. I can never find this one. I should move it on the stream deck. And it's this one in the top corner there, which is my little wireless one. So let's remove that ticker. Let's put this sticker on. Let me enable the microphone. And you can have a listen to this little wireless mic. Once again, by fine, fine. Now I know I've just not moved things on my carousel. I kind of, I think I need an assistant for these live streams who literally just grabs the phone, starts pressing on the products. So this is our little wireless M6 microphone from Fine Fine. They have released a new version of this where you get two microphones rather than one. Member of the Bears Marching Band. Hello, welcome to the stream, buddy. Let me get your name on stream. Where's my little cursor? There you are, you're on the stream, dude. Welcome, welcome. Absolute pleasure. How are you today? Now, the best audio I found with this is directly in front of your mouth like this, as it would be with pretty much any microphone. But as it is wireless, most of the time you can't be holding your microphone like this. So I found the best way to attach this is kind of in your stomach area. So let me move it down here. And there you are. Have a little listen to that audio there. How's the pain? Jump around, do do, jump around, jump up, jump up and get down. Yeah, man, the old days of pain. I did actually have a listen to some of those tracks, you know. I told you I would. Can't say I'm a huge fan. Jump around is the, the pinnacle. I think once you've heard that, there's kind of nowhere else to go with it. Yeah, I forgot what I was doing. What was I doing? I don't know. Oh, I was going to quickly load up the, the listing page. Yeah, so I remember. Jump around. My memory is very weird. It's like if you come in the stream now and tell me about that, five minutes later I would forget that we've mentioned like jump around. But seeing as I've had like a few weeks away, it's all up there. Short term memory on me is shocking. But this microphone is not shocking. This microphone is class. $29.99. Now, you get your little transmitter, your microphone, you get your receiver with a USB-C port on the side, which allows you to charge your mobile phone up whilst you're using this. That port also doubles up as a USB-C headphone socket, so if you wanted some audio monitoring, you can do that as well. $30. If you've not got yourself a wireless mic and you need one, this is kind of where I'm going, just for how cheap it is. I think it performs extremely well. I, I, what's that HT? I've got Foy Field S. What's that mean? Oh, Foy Fine should pay me. Mate, they should, honestly. But I've actually just had a new product from them today. Amazon have delivered it for me. Yesterday was a marching competition. It was hot outside. I wish it was hot outside here. It's gone very cold in the UK. I'm not liking it. Not my cup of tea. And you know us Brits, we love drinking tea. Now, as I'm talking into this, I might as well give you a little glance of what has arrived today. Now, you might have seen this. I've seen there's been quite a few reviews on it. 
And it's one of those things that I've always kind of wanted to get hold of and have a little play around with. And I thought, you know what? Time to get one and check it out. So this is a gaming mixer. Now, I've not got it all set up, so I can't really let you have a listen. But we can do a live unboxing and show you what we get in the box. Me and my friend are laying down at our, our sleepover. Afterwards, we're going to the movies. Ah, oh, what are we going to see at the movies, dude? It's like a yes, mate. That is exactly what it is. So I've got my little Go XLR Mini there. Now, this is... This is cheap, to be fair. This is currently $49.99. So, very, very cheap. Now, I've not even took this out to have a look. So, a live unboxing horror movie. Oh, it lives inside. See, I think I'm going to go and see the new Saw movie when that comes out. I like those movies. So we get our little instruction manual. Let's try and hold it up this way so you can see. So we've got this little cover there for the sliders. That is actually like really small. For some reason I thought that would be a lot bigger than it actually is. That is tiny. We get a couple of cables as well. Let me bring these up to this screen and see what we have. So we have a USB-C to USB-A cable. And we've got a... Three and a half mil to three and a half mil jack as well. So I imagine that's to connect mobile phones up to it. It's actually PG thirteen. Uh, so not really the big daddy gory stuff then. But yes, I'm looking forward to Saw. I don't really go to the movies that often anymore. But the Saw movies, I I do like them. I like how he. Send you on this roller coaster, and you kind of miss things through the movie. Then, right at the end, everything joins together and makes sense. I like that. I watch Saw One. Saw One's very good. I like it when he comes to life at the end from off the ground. Yeah, so here's our little fine, fine mixer. So, a few options we've got is that we can change our voice on there as well. We've got male, female, robots. Monster Baby and Elder. I mean, I'm Elder anyway. I don't think I need to change that. You've got this electric setting, which is like an auto-tune kind of thing. So you should see, like, A, B, is that flat? B flat, B, C, D flat, D. So you can change the pitch of your voice. A bit of auto-tuning. 48 volts, which means that we've got phantom power as well. So if you've got a condenser microphone that requires additional power, this will actually do it. So we've got an XLR port on the back. We've got a switch for dynamic and condenser. Let me try and get that close and in focus. We've got a headphone port, a line in, another headphone, a line out. And USB-C, so it powers through USB-C. So one cable from this to your computer, and away you go. So no additional power packs. We also get some mutes on the bottom as well. So for each of these sliders, we can mute it. So if you want to mute the mic, tap the button, we are muted. I like that. So it's, it's very similar to my Go XLR, just a fraction of the price. But I will test it out and see what it's all about. But for like $50, that's amazingly cheap that is a lot smaller than what i thought it would be like i can literally just get get in in between my thumb and my middle finger there very small you want to hear me as a girl oh do you know what you might be in luck because <laughs> i did set something up on obs a while ago let me um i think it's on this microphone let me see if i've got it and see if it still works I'm a dollar off. I need a dollar, dollar, dollar. That's what I need. Right, let me come back to this mic a moment. Hello, hello, hello. Now, I used to have something set up. Have I still got it? Let me look. XLR microphone. Oh, is this going to work? 
Okay, let me know if that's working. Has that changed my voice at all? I probably should put my earphone in and have a listen. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, <laughs> I think that does work. Beautiful. Beautiful. I did have a chipmunk voice as well. Hello, hello, hello. This is the, the chipmunk voice. Hopefully you'll have to work in as well. Hello, Marty Puts. Can he take? Uh, he takes one, mate. So, literally one XLR. That is... Oh. Yeah, I think it's just the one, mate. Just the one XLR. I will get it all tested and reviewed, so we'll we'll find out a little bit more. <laughs> Stop, I'm dying. So, look at him, man. He's just laughing, laughing at me in my different voices. I'm glad that still worked. Right, let's go back to my wireless mic. Hello, hello. Yes, yeah, so very small, very compact. But to be honest, looking at that, that is, that is what I needed back in the day. So this is quite a new product from Fine Fine. I think it's been out a few months, to be fair. But when I first started streaming, I wanted something like this that was cheap just to get me going. And especially because it's got the Phantom Power as well. So I imagine that's going to draw the power from your computer. But yes, we'll we'll have a play with that. Now I better get that repackaged because my cats will love that. They'll be chewing it. Would have been good if you had two outputs. As in like uh, for two microphones, do you mean? Because I, I had a mixer back in the day and that had two XLR ports on it. And I never used it. So I only ever really needed like one. But yeah, I believe you can connect your mobile phone up to this. So if you do live streaming from a phone, I think we can do all that as well. I'm not too sure how it would work with powering it, whether I can run a USB from there into the phone, use his battery power from the phone to power this. I don't know if we need an additional battery pack, but we'll, we will have a play. Yeah, for two mics. Yeah, I used to have one with two ports for mics, and I thought that'll be useful. And I just ne never used it, never. So my Go XLR Mini just has the, I believe it's one port. Yeah, just one port on there. Now we've got all cable stuck underneath there. So yeah, that is one of the new products that we've got. I've actually got another one, which I will show you in a moment. What I'll do is, I believe this next microphone is on offer. Let me just double check. It is, it is, which means we're going to do a super sale. Oosh. Okay, this little bad boy here, this little RGB microphone, let me move him out of the way. Right, so this is like the microphone you've just seen there. It is a dynamic microphone, once again from the Mighty Fine Fine. They should give me a job, really, Fine Fine. The amount that I praise their products up. It's unreal. So you'll be able to see at the bottom there, we've got a little light. little RGB light there. So we can change the colour on that. You can get it so it goes through a sequence of colours, which I actually quite like that, that sequence. We have the mute button on the front as well. And this is XLR and USB-C. Now we've only got USB-C plugged in at the moment. Go on, get in focus. Play the game. There we are. We got the XLR port. We've also got audio monitoring as well. So you can monitor your audio. Comes in its own little stand. Which, what I like on this one, which you don't get on many microphone stands, is if we unscrew that, it's got both a 3 eighths of an inch and a 5 eighths of an inch thread. Which means you don't need a converter, because this stand has literally got the conversion built into it. 
which is always very, very nice. If you don't like the RGBs on this as well, you can turn them off like we have there, which is by this button on the back. Just hold that down for a second or so, switches your lights on and off. Volume control for headphones if you want to monitor the audio and for the microphone itself. Now you'll be able to see that my head here is absolutely annihilated because my cats keep chewing it. You can pull that off if you want to. So there's the capsule of the microphone. It is dynamic, so best audio is going to come directly through the top there. Now, once again, I've not got no gain or anything on this mic, so you're going to hear raw audio through the USB. So let's disable this, enable this. Yeah, it's, it's always good to unmute the microphone as well, which is what I forgot to do then. So this is the Fine Fine AM8 microphone, which is right up there. So very much like this one, you get XLR and USB connections on there. You are listening to the USB. I get better audio when I use XLR because my mixing desk software allows me to mess about with equalization and all that funky stuff. But this is going to be your raw audio through USB. It'll work in PS4s, PS5s, PCs and Macs. And I will change my ticker. So you know what we're talking into. Did I have a ticker for this? I'm sure I did. I did. There it is. So AM8. Have a look at the, the Bowyer. Another alternative. Oh, okay, mate. I will certainly check it out. And... While I'm talking into this bad boy, do you know what? Shall we go XLR on this? Because I can get a bit more distance between the the microphone and me, which I might actually need whilst I show you this other new product that we've got. So let me plug this in. Hello, hello. Okay, so this is the XLR you're listening to now. If I come through twice, please let me know. And I should say as well that this is on a limited time deal, which I'm just loading up now, which means it's dropped from $64.99 down to $46.74. There is a pink version, which doesn't fancy loading. Let me click on that, see if it loads up. Just doesn't fancy loading. I have had internet issues as well for the last three or four days. So if the stream disconnects, that's the reason why I've got dodgy internet. Yeah, I, I prefer XLR on any of my microphones. So yes, there's the white version. There is the pink. There is the black. So the black version will save you $2. And this is the kind of audio you're going to get from it if you're running through XLR, that is. You've just heard the USB. But another thing that I've just had, let me go and grab the box for you. Now I'm just starting to create a video on this, which if you know kind of my channel, there's a lot of webcam reviews on there. And we've just had this BenQ IdeaCam S1 Pro. Now, it does something that I've not seen on a, another webcam. I'm just finding it on the carousel. This, well, let me, let me show you this first. It comes with a remote control. Ooh, you don't get many webcams with those. That white looks sick, mate. I like the white Fine Fine mics. I really do. Saying that, I think the pink one looks good as well. But I don't know if that's because I've only ever really had the black microphones. So, uh, look at this little beast here. So, good thing. We can remove that. As easy as that. Something I'm not quite sure about at the moment is that that doesn't clip into place. That slides on there, and it's just there. Very easy to pull off. I haven't dropped it yet. 
but you can get a full 90 degree angle on this which means that you can do overhead view with this webcam also comes with an inbuilt light it's also got a freeze on there as well which it wasn't working in obs for me but i need to test it in other software so let me give you a a close-up sorry i'm pressing wrong buttons all over the place here so here is your little webcam quite a robust stand as well we do get a a mounting slot there so if you want to put it onto a tripod you can this is quite heavy this stand the heaviest stand i've ever had on any webcam but you're probably thinking like well why does it detach itself what's the whole point in that that is because we have this little bad boy as well now this is a magnification lens which is magnetic so what we can do is just pop him on there so it clips itself in i don't need to push or anything it's got a magnet in there clips itself into place and now what this allows me to do is get really close to things so in my mind i'm thinking electronics but have we got this set up here we are so i can go onto my mouse mat and you can see all the fibers on my mouse mat you can see probably quite a lot of filth as well so if i go to my keyboard i mean you can see all the dirt on my keys so it is a macro lens so i can start going like really close to things and then you can just pull that off and then go hello there is the webcam i've heard of a lot of webcams a lot apparently very good for product reviews i guess you'll your scoffing problem scoffing i've not heard the word scoffing for quite a while that's what i do i scoff a lot of food down yeah so this has got this magnification lens now this is it's got a really high resolution on it can, has this got more specs on here right okay so we can go up to 2448p at 30 frames per second we've got an 8 megapixel uh soundy cmos sensor we've got a 15 times magnification lens so we will be doing a video on this we're going to be giving it a thorough test because obviously we need different lighting scenarios for people who use it as a webcam we're going to test out that magnification lens on some electronics as well see how clear it is and i'm and we've got to test out the the remote as well now this actually rotates as well so i'm pretty certain this zooms in and out as i turn that round. we can mute the mic through there we've got the auto or manual focus we've got focus there not quite sure what that is yet oh freeze that's what that is so you can freeze the image now that takes a couple of AAA batteries which you do actually get in the box so you don't need to go out and buy batteries it actually comes with it it comes with a magnetic cover as well which is in the box i think hopefully and you get a wireless dongle with it as well now i want to open this back up and not destroy it Du, 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 du. yeah so got a, a little dongle which i believe is going to be for the remote control and we've got a little lens cover as well which you just clip on the front but yes that is something that we shall be working on let's just chuck him back in there how much is the benq i'm looking at my carousel it is two uh sorry 199.99 so 200 dollars at the moment and we'll have to see if the price is justifiable but i do like the idea of this little magnification lens 
because I'm trying to, I say I'm trying to learn. I've been taking things apart. I, I mean, you saw me with those earphones, didn't you? So if I have to look at motherboards and like capacitors and whatever else, that'll actually be quite useful, especially at my age. My eyes are dodgy these days. So to actually get that onto a motherboard so I can have a look on my screen at things really close up, it sounds really useful, but we'll see. It is an expensive one. It is an expensive webcam. So we'll have to have a look and see how it actually performs. I mean, this is just a very quick look at it with no settings changed or anything like that. So that is straight out of the box, but we'll see. We'll have a play. We can turn our little light on as well. Yeah, I mean, that's not going to do anything because I've already got lights switched on. But yes, we'll have a play. And what I do quite like is that we can pull that out, which means I, I can just put it on top of like my keyboard here. I'll give you a quick example. Put my little lens back on so I can hold it in my hand and kind of move around, which is quite useful. So we'll see. We'll see how it actually performs once we have a bit more time to play around with it. But I thought I would give you first glance at it. Because I literally took that out of the box yesterday and started trying to film some stuff. But, 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 I think I should show you a, another microphone. So this is dynamic mic. Let's go with the, the cheap one, the cheap one. We got the good old, fine, fine. Uh, A6V. Sorry, there's that many different model names. I'm just trying to remember them all. So a little video in the top corner there so you can have a look and get a bit more of an idea of what it looks like, but I will show you anyway. So we get RGB lights on there. We have no control over those lights. What you see there is what you get. The only way you can turn them off is if you mute the microphone. So that mic microphone is muted now. When you are unmuted, your RGBs will be rocking and rolling. You do get the pop filter, which is already installed onto the shock mount when you take it out of the box, so you don't need to do anything. The only thing you will install is this little tripod stand here, which just screws into place. Oh, go on, get off. There we are. So five eighths of an inch thread on the bottom there. So if you want to put it on a more robust stand, you can do that. Because the stand on this is a little bit flimsy, to be honest. I mean, it will do the job. But just make sure you don't bump into it because chances are you will knock it over. See, a little bit flimsy, that stand. So I would look at changing that. Volume control for the mic is available on the front here. Just swivel that around. Do like the positioning on that. I say that every live stream. But let's have a little listen. Let's move this over. Let's disable my XLR and we shall enable the A6V, which is what you are listening to now. So this is a USB microphone. Connect uh, USB-C into the back of the mic. USB-A into your computer, cables included. No audio monitoring on this. Literally just get USB-C port and that is it. Plug and play, no need for drivers. Will work in your PS4, PS5. Will not work in Xboxes, so bear that in mind. What's your thought on the USB-C iPhone? Although I, I prefer that it's gone to USB-C. I, I kind of want everything to be USB-C now. It's like the other day, I was, I, I don't even know if I've, or maybe I did. I was shaving my beard. I've got a beard trimmer. And I started trimming my beard and the battery died, like here. So I had long hair here, short hair here. I didn't shave it off for like another three days. But that's its own charger. So I would like everything to be USB-C now. So I did actually have a look on Amazon for another shaver. I can get pretty much the identical one that connects through USB-C to charge it up. 
I kind of think everything should be USB-C, but that's just me. I didn't like the idea of lightning cables because pff, I just don't. My shaver is micro. Yeah, well, this shaver I've got is not even micro. It's like a little circle. If it was micro, that's fine. I've got two head shavers. One of those are micro USB, which is great because I just plug it in behind me to charge up. The other one is its own charger, which means I have to keep figuring out where I've put that charger. I lose it all the time. Whereas I've always got micro USBs and USB-C cables plugged in. So as long as it's got that, I'm good. Yes, barrel pin connector. That's where it's got. And I think there's a loose connection as well. So I tried to charge it and it just weren't charging. So I had to just keep messing around with it. And eventually it did charge. So yes, I think it's a good move to have all found really USB-C. That's what I think anyway. I want everything USB-C, everything to charge through through that standard. That is what I want. I need to change my ticker as well. Because I've got the wrong one on. Let's turn that off. A6V, that's what you're listening to right now. So this is currently $34.99. I say on every stream, if you've not got a microphone and you're looking for your first mic, this is probably where I would begin with. Especially if you're starting to stream and you're not sure if streaming is going to be for you. You're just testing the waters. Or creating content for any platforms like Amazon Live, YouTube, for example. The audio on this will be good enough to just get you up and running. And then you can decide as you go along if you think, yeah, do you know what? I like creating content. And you gradually, gradually start improving your your products. So you can change microphones and monitors and speakers and whatever else. But to begin with, I always recommend this one. I think it sounds amazing for $35. With the new USB going to 240 watts, we can get... Yes, do you know what? I like the idea of getting laptops with USB-C to charge them. Mine currently doesn't do it. So I, I would look at changing my laptop as soon as that becomes available. But I think there's something wrong with the battery on my laptop. It just keeps dying all the time. I have changed it as well. So I changed the original battery because it just wouldn't hold charge. I put a new one in, which lasted probably two days, wouldn't hold charge. So I sent that battery back and got another one. And it's been much better. But it sounds like it's taking off all the time. Like the fans inside. I have got a Dell G6 laptop. So it's an i7 processor with 16 gig of RAM. It was, it was a Dell, like, refurbished laptop. So it's supposed to have been a grand and a half. And I think I paid about 900 quid for it. But then I kind of regretted it when I bought it because it was just a 60, 60 hertz screen. And obviously, pretty much most of them now are, like, 144 hertz. But it's doing the job. I can do some video editing on there. So that's, that is literally all I bought it for. I totally agree. I should be drinking water. I've actually got a bottle of sparkling water in the fridge. I'm just addicted to Coke Zero. Xville, hello buddy. How are you? Let's get your little name on the stream. Right, I, I may as well show you another product, haven't I? And we can continue speaking into this microphone with a little ticker on so you know what you're listening to. When did you buy the laptop? I, oh, I've had it a few years now. I did do a video on YouTube, which I think I've unlisted the video. So I can probably give you a, a decent idea of when I bought it. Let me just do a quick search on my channel. Okay, I uploaded the video in April 2020. So yeah, I've had it a few years now. It's got the RTX 2060 graphics card in there. It's got a 256 gig NVMe SSD, a one terabyte SATA hard drive, 17.3 inch screen. That's about it, really. 
It's an i7 9750H, 9th core, uh, 9th generation core, and 16 gig of DDR4 RAM. Do I plan on upgrading? Uh, at the, oh, sorry, at the moment, no, not at all. Like, I'm not really somebody who constantly upgrades things. Would be nice to use the back camera, the selfie camera. Yeah, my brother's got a foldable one, and it looks good. Don't get me wrong, it looks good. But no, I'm one of those, like, if I've got no reason to upgrade, then I just won't. Yeah, so phones have never really bothered me. As long as I can do what I need to on my phone, I'm good. It's a little bit like the laptop. I mean, I'd love the idea of a screen with a faster refresh rate. But it does what I need, so I don't really need to upgrade. It's a bit like my graphics card. I'm rocking a 2060 in my PC. But because I can still play the occasional game, I can still do the video editing. I've just got no reason to change it. I think that was the reason why I changed my processor. Was When I was trying doing streams, they started lagging a bit. had a few issues, so I upgraded the processor. Hobbies apart from YouTube. Uh, playing football. Literally playing football, which has been a nightmare because I've only just started going back, which is why I'm extremely fat. Look at the state of this. Honestly, I used to be thin back in the day. Then I, I left my job during all COVID and got injured for football and then got fat. So I just sit here drinking Coke Zero and eating cake, which is not good. But now it's mainly YouTube, play football. Do you see? I I did, mate. I did see this. I saw Bruno Fernandes score quite a worldie of a volley. Do you know what? While I'm here now, I may as well just put the other microphone on, and I? Here we go. So this one's 3499A6V. Ticker, bottom of the screen. Now, I will show you the other RGB one I've got here. Which is a little bit more expensive. Cars are horrible. Uh, drink them rarely. When I was younger, I weaned myself off drinking anything fizzy. So I wouldn't drink any kind of pop, anything like that. But then I, I started drinking it again. Which is not good. Because all the, the diet stuff does with all these artificial sweeteners is it just makes you hungry. I think your body kind of thinks it's gained some kind of sugar and when you're not giving it the sugar it starts craving it which is why I end up eating chocolate which is not good okay fine fine A8 this one here so obviously you're not listening to this microphone yet another RGB microphone we do get the the wind filter on the front I was going to say shock mount but here is the shock mount but this one it is on the back but it's kind of one of those, set it and forget it. You kind of get your own audio level and then you end up just not messing with it. On the back here, this microphone allows you to change the RGB lights at the push of a button. So you can select any individual color that you like, or you can have the one where it goes through a sequence of colors, which is that one right there. So you do get control with this one. You do get the mute button on top as well, which will turn red when I mute it, so you can see the green button there, red to say that we are muted. Let's get our little video in the top corner there as well. And I think we need to have a little listen. So you can have a listen to this bad boy. Just need to find it on my OBS. The plastic, which includes the shock mount, which it is pre-installed into. The base of the stand has some additional weight in it, which will help prevent it from falling over if you knock it. There's mounting available on the front for the included pop filter to be installed. And we can adjust the tilt by unscrewing the knob on the back. This can be completely unscrewed, and this will allow you to mount it onto a boom arm using the converter which is available in the box. The volume control on the back may be a little awkward for some people to get to, so you will really want to set that volume to your liking 
striking and just leave it. There's also a button to control the RGB light where we can have it rotate through the various colours or tapping the button to manually set which colour suits your setup. Holding this down for 3 seconds will completely turn that light off. On the top is a touch panel to mute the microphone and on the bottom is a 3.5mm jack for the audio monitoring. This is the kind of audio quality you Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'd, I'd enabled the video audio, not the microphone one. It seems Twitch strategy now is to disconnect the stream and then restart. Oh, is it really? Not good. Uh, HT put Soya about being a bit stiff on this matter. No, not at all. About drinking the, the Coke. I agree, mate. I shouldn't be drinking it. It's fine now. Yes, thank you. Yes, I, that was my mistake. I'd unmuted the the video and not the, the microphone. That's what I get for calling the video Fine Fine A8 and the microphone Fine Fine A8. Should really give them separate names, shouldn't I? Samu! How is Samu talking to me? I thought I'd just stopped the kickstream. But Samu, here you are. Head of absolutely nowhere on kick. Welcome, buddy. I'm just going to start that again and see if it still works. But yes, what you're listening to now is this little microphone up here, which is the Fine Fine A8. Now, this is currently... Let me double check the PC because sometimes my phone doesn't update. So some of these end up on a deal without me realising. This is currently 42 99 And here is the listing right here. Now, it's another one of those mics where you can get different colours. So, the black version is the cheapest one at $42.99. That's the one I've got right here. We have the pink, which always takes a while to load up. We have the white version. There is actually another version of this microphone as well, where you get different polar patterns. So, at the bottom of the mic there... We get like the omnidirectional, directional, cardioid, and normally stereo mode. So that one's $56.99, but the one you're listening to now is $42.99. Will work in your consoles except for Xboxes. So PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 works great in those. Works in your PC and in your Mac. No need to install any drivers. Did you see the matter in the of that American Kickstream Winter Pack? I saw something on Twitter. I don't know if we're on about the same thing. But something had popped up on Twitter. I've had a very quick glance. I didn't really take much notice of what was going on. But I think they were filming in... Was it a hotel room or something? And basically they shouldn't be doing it. And somebody from Kick had put like a laughing emoji or something. Johnny Somali. I mean, that's his name. I mean, I'm an old man. I I don't know. I don't know people's names. It's like if you're watching the award show now and they say he's the the new best pop star and the reader name. I'm like, who's that? Never heard of them. I think that's what happens when you get old. Because I remember when I was a kid and you like say to your mum and dad, oh, there's this great band out. And I'm like, who? Who, who you want to is? And I've turned into that old man now. He's going around shouting. Oh, that's not the one that I've seen then. I've seen a different video today. I've not seen that one that, that you're talking about. So no, I've not seen that. So I, I don't know anything about that. But there is something else that's just happened that's on on Twitter. Can't really comment on it because I don't really know anything about it. Sorry, I'm just glancing through the carousel. Yeah, if you're on Amazon, you'll be able to see our product carousel. If there's anything that you see in the carousel that you would like to have a look at, then do let me know. I'll be more than happy to show you. Oh, hello, Tish. How are we doing? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, it was the mate who got arrested. He was live streaming. He said, oh, okay. 
Yeah, I know nothing about it, mate. I do my very best to stay away from any kind of news. Because it's all doom and gloom, so I'll just stay away. Yo, Fitz, hello, buddy. Thoughts on the Razor Siren Mini? Do you know what? I've never used one. So I, I wouldn't know. I've used some of their webcams, and I think they've been pretty decent. Andy the oldie. I'm very old. I am. My body feels older than what it is. But nah, sorry, Fitz. I've never used a Razor Siren, so I, I don't know. I mean, I've got a load of fine, fine microphones, which I think sound really good. But maybe one day I will pick up a Razor Siren and, and check it out. I've just seen as well that my, my Amazon live stream has just stopped. Content violated our policy, prohibiting the streaming of primarily pre-recorded content. How? I <laughs> don't even know how. Never mind. I'm on the road again. HT says not good. That razor mic. Buy something else. Finally on the road. Just waiting for this guy to move. So I'm get moving again. So if I have. Yeah. Go to have a go at them. Uh, HT saying buy my own out. All fine, fine. You can forget your awesome dance moves. Yeah. A little bit of that. I need to do more with those dance moves so I can lose some weight. Fine, fine sponsoring you yet. Mate, they should offer me a job, shouldn't they? They should take me to the head office and get me in there. But, um, yeah, it seems that Amazon is not liking me today. Never mind. I, I, I can only presume it's because I had little videos up in the top corner. But it says that you're allowed to do that. Which is... Oh, I don't know. They don't like me. I don't even know if I can restart that. Never mind. I love Andy's moves. I'm too old to be doing those moves. I did a stream back in the day doing Just Dance. I was in my suit as well. That suit got amazingly sweaty. Well, I'm going to go back to my little, my little wireless mic. Let me mute this one. And let me enable my little wireless one. Let's move him to one side. We be playing the new FIFA, will we? I won't, mate. I've not played FIFA since... FIFA 07, when David Ginola was on the front. I just... Now I, I don't play it. My brother's playing the, the Pro Evolution Soccer, which I think is called... E-Football, maybe? That looks alright. You're younger than me. I might be younger in years, but... I don't know, there's a lot of wear and tear on this body. Don't know if I should buy it, tired of them reshuffling the same game. Yeah, I'm. I used to love the the football games when I was younger, but as I've got older, I've kind of. I've lost the love for them. So I was looking for my ticker there. You should have clips that you can pull up fast for those mentions of suits dancing. I'll have a quick look, see if I can find some. You'd think somebody would have clipped it, wouldn't you, back in the day? I started playing FIFA from 07. I played the original FIFA when it first came out on the Mega Drive. You know my Twitch stream? Is it really juddery? Oh no, that seems to have kicked in there. So I've just looked at my Twitch stream and it was juddering all over the place. How old were you? Well, I was born in 83, so I'm 40 now. So I'm, I'm an old man. Very old man. It was good content, me dancing. Do you know what, Source? I don't think there's any clips on there. 
I'm pretty sure I had the full video downloaded on my PC somewhere. I'll have to find it out. Get it on. Yeah, I remember that. Just dance. God, I was so sweaty. It was horrible. I'll have to do it again. It's stuttering. Yeah, do you know what? Mine was stuttering and then it's it kind of kicked itself back into life. Let me just turn that off again. Let me load it up. Let me know if that's gone any better. Because I've just closed one of the platforms down. I'm skipping frames. Yeah, I am. To be fair, my internet's been awful for like three days. And you can fill this thing in on your mobile phone. And it kept saying, oh, it hasn't de detected the problem with the internet. And he says, have you still got a problem? I'm like, yeah, still got a problem. I've got no internet. Your bit rate is in the 2000s. Hmm. What was I talking about? I forgot. You'll have to remind me. See what I mean by short-term memory? Literally talking and I... I forget. Is your wife an Android or iPhone user? She currently has the Samsung Galaxy S23? The latest one, maybe? Yeah, so she uses Samsung. She had an iPhone years ago, but now she uses Android now. I've had four kids and I'm asked ten years on you. It's all my set. Yeah, it is. I just, I just need to eat better. That's what I need to do. How much do you pay for your internet? Well, I get the internet, a phone line, which we've got no phone plugged into it, and the TV, and we are paying £67 a month at the moment. And we get Sky Sports with that, which is quite good. They actually cocked up, I think, when they gave us the deal. Because we had a load of issues with getting it. Because we was like, this is the price that you've quoted us, which we signed up for. Then they tried banging loads of money on top. So we kind of argued the cause with them. And in the end, we got it for £67. Which means when our contract expires, I imagine we're going to be arguing with them again. But yeah, I've had issues for like three days with the broadband. Which kind of when you work from home and you need to do stuff, you don't realise how much you miss it till it's broken and you can't use it no more. But it is it is what it is. I mean, I'd, I understand the internet's not going to be working 100% of the time. But the problem I've got is that when it does go down, it's a nightmare to get anything resolved. It's like when our contract expired for the broadband, and I was literally trying to sort out a brand new contract with them. It took five days, because... They used to have the online chat feature, which they've got rid of now. So you have to use WhatsApp. And it just takes so long to get messages back from them. It's a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. But never mind. I think I better let you just get on with the rest of your days now, haven't I? Leave you to it. But uh, thank you everybody who stopped by. Very much appreciated. I'm, I don't even know what I'm, what I'm ending here. Right, I'm going to end Twitch first. So, Twitch, Saucy, I can see you're on Twitch. Thank you for stopping by, dude. Uh, we'll have to have a catch-up soon. See you soon, buddy. And I, I can hear beeping in my kitchen, which means that food is pretty much ready. Any other providers? There's... I think I can have BT who I've had in the past, and it was horrendous. The problem is, is that I'm with Virgin, and it's a little bit of a monopoly, because they've got the fastest broadband. I can't leave. This dude is taking his sweet time. Need to jump out the passion wagon and have a word, Tish. Ask him what his deal is. I think I can get Talk Talk as well, but I've seen bad reviews on that. I mean, I've, all I see is bad reviews on everything. So, at the moment, we're kind of stuck with Virgin. But when it's working, it's brilliant. It's just, if you have a problem, it's very difficult to speak to someone about it. 
That's why you're ending the stream. And that is why I'm ending the stream. I've got food on the way. And I've had a bit of a good run because I'm expecting my broadband to cut itself off any moment now. But yes, thank you everybody who stopped by. We should be back on YouTube in the week. So keep an eye out for a notification because I will schedule that stream at some point. And I will love you and leave you. Stay safe. Hopefully that person moves for you, Tish. And I will see you all very soon. So have enjoy the rest of the weekend.